Hi hey guys and welcome to another Brushmaster video. This is just a short colour theory video that I wanted to show you guys. So I painted this miniature recently um, from the Lion's Tower. Her name is Lucinda. Um, and I wanted to explain the colours I used and how I used them. So the way I started with this miniature was I painted all the skin first, which I wanted to paint in a sort of blue-green tone. Um, the underlying colours here was um, quite a dark base coat, but I built up to a blue-green, which you can see on other parts of the model. So from there, I used the colour wheel here to extract my other colours. And when you look at the colour wheel here, the the perfect complement to blue-green is a red-orange. So I used the red-orange to do all the scales uh, around her body, which cover a fair part of the top part of her body. So this complemented really nicely. Um, but from there, I moved on to a red-violet for the armor parts. And to highlight the skin, the red orange and this violet, I mixed in a yellow orange. But I also knew from the start that the staff was going to be very sort of yellow or yellow orange. So I in fact had the perfect complement colour in the blue green and the orange red. But then I used a triad of colours which was the red violet and the yellow orange which, which worked perfectly in combination. Now, all the other colours I've used on the miniature are all very neutral colours. Like the clothing is brown, the staff handle is a black grey, the strapping is very much browns. But I added in elements of red violet or purple into those to try and complement. So, on to the colours I actually use for the painting, guys. So for the skin, I base coated with a dark sea blue, uh, which has got the green elements in it. But then my main color was this blue green highlighted with a yellow from AK Interactive. This gave me that sort of bluish color that I was after. Um, then when I moved to the armor, I again used dark sea blue as the main uh, base coat. But I built on top of that violet red as the main colour and again highlighted with yellow. Now when I did the scales, uh, for the orange red colour I used a base coat of medium rust which is an orangey browny sort of colour and then highlighted with medium orange. And for the gold parts, I pretty much used dark sea blue, a dark brown, and a volcanic yellow, which is a very orangey yellow, which worked perfectly for the gold. And all the extra highlighting I did, I used buff. Now the reason I use buff is, is because it contains that yellow colour and it's sort of a yellowy, not quite orangey, but it's certainly in the yellow spectrum. Thanks for watching guys, I hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you next time on another Brushmaster video.